Yo, yo, and two it up. So this past weekend saw uh, AEW's Double or Nothing. Uh, for this video, I'm going to talk about Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega, Alpha versus Omega Part Two. Um, so the first match in New Japan, fire. Kenny got over. He won in that match. Uh, this match, Jericho won. But um, overall, I thought it was it was, you know, pretty much on par with the first one. It was different. It wasn't the same match, which is something I like as well because I don't like when you know wrestlers have series of matches and they try to recreate the last match. This match was like very different from uh, the one they had at Wrestle Kingdom 12, so that was great. Um, as great as the match was, I would be remiss to not mention uh, Chris Jericho's entrance. Uh, probably the best of 2019. The way it was like, you know, it kind of spanned Jericho's career. So you had Lionheart, you had Y2J, you had List of Jericho, you had, um, am I, was it two or three? But there was like one part where it was like Jericho with the, the jacket, kind of like how he had a Wrestle Kingdom 12. Um, but like he went through a phase where he wore like that jacket where he had like the lights on the back. It was that. And then you finally had, you know, modern day Jericho, um, you know, his, his current get up right now. So that entrance was, that was bananas, man. Cause no one saw that one coming. So that was great. I love certain sequences in the match, especially uh, two that really stood out to me in that match were the um, the uh, the back and forth of the uh, the springboard moonsaults between Kenny Omega and Chris. Uh, so Kenny hit his you know there is no escape combo the Samoan uh, roll into the springboard moonsault that was cool, and then uh, I think. Jericho might have countered that one actually. I'm not. I don't remember exactly, but he he did his version right, and then Jericho hit three lion salts in that match. I don't know how Jericho is hitting lion salts at 48 years old, and I don't know how he's still putting on these great matches. I think he's gonna wrestle Kazushiko Okada in a few weeks, right? So it, this is this is bananas, but that was great. I love you know how they went back and forth there. Um, and also another really uh, cool sequence in that match was when uh, Chris Jericho he countered uh, Kenny Omega's V trigger into the um, uh, wall to Jericho or the Lion Tamer. I forget exactly which move it was. I know they look the same to an extent, but like there's a key difference. Like the Lion Tamer puts his his uh, knee on their neck, but um, yeah, I thought that counter was nice because. At first, it looked like Kenny hit him, but if you look closer, you can see, like, Chris kind of stepped back, and then, you know, he grabbed Kenny's legs, dropped him, flipped him over, submission, so that was nice. But, um, yeah, great match overall, man. And um, I like I like the, the inclusion of the Judas Effect, uh, how Chris said, like, he was going to beat Kenny with the Judas Effect, wants to beating him with the Judas Effect. I look forward to seeing that used more, perhaps, in a more... Um, it looked very realistic, but given that it's professional wrestling, you want to have a little bit more, you know, like pizzazz to it or what have you. But yeah, man, that match was fire, super fire, man. So Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega, hats off to you, hats off to AEW. Uh, will, will there be Alpha versus Omega 3? Who knows, you know? Um, hopefully it's not another 16 months until then, uh, but who knows? And I hope, I hope Chris Jericho becomes the first AEW world champion. I think he would be the best one, no disrespect to Adam Page, I just think Jericho would be like, I think he would be the right one, because then it's, it's more for him to feud with. I think, you know, having a heel champion for now might be the best move. Who knows, I could be wrong, but either way, the match was great, and I do look forward to seeing Adam Page versus Chris Jericho. So, I'm pulling for Chris. It's your man, D-Prime215. Make sure you subscribe. You can see the button. I think it's on this side or it's on that side, but you see the red button, you know what to do. You press that. I got to look here. Yeah, Shaman, I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching.